Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed has a Face the Nation interview with CBS. Top Qatari official Lulu Al Khater is on the ground in Gaza. And finally, Qatar's ambassador to the US replies to the US senator who criticized the Gulf state. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani had an interview on CBS Face the Nation. During the live talk, Sheikh Mohammed stated that Qatar's relationship with the US is very solid through working together for decades. Speaking about Hamas having a political office in Doha, the Prime Minister said that the office was established in coordination with the United States to establish a communication channel between Hamas and the US. He also confirmed that there are more American nationals that are set to be released by Hamas from captivity. Now, Qatar's Minister of State for International Cooperation at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Alulu Al Khater, arrived on the ground in the Gaza Strip on Sunday. Al Khater entered the besieged enclave with a Qatari diplomatic delegation delivering crucial aid to the Palestinian people. The visit of the Minister of State marks the first visit by a high-ranking Arab official to Gaza since Israel's aggression began on October 7th. The aid being delivered includes 144 tons of relief materials with 1,000 tents, food supplies, ambulances, and medicines. And finally, a Republican senator lashed out against Qatar on popular social media app X. Senator Ted Budd criticized Qatar for hosting Hamas in Doha, stating that the US-designated terror terrorist organization was buying time via Qatar's hospitality while releasing hostages. This prompted Qatar's ambassador to the US, Sheikh Mish'al bin Hamad Al Thani, to respond, with the ambassador saying that Qatar's communication with Hamas was set up at the request of the US. He added that the Gulf state is focused on negotiations and working hard with all sides to help release more hostages safely. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.